Hey everybody, welcome back to Runaway Roses. On this episode, we got something special we're looking forward to putting on the truck. What do we get? A Roadmaster Sway Bar. That's right, we're gonna put a Sway Bar on our Ram 3500, so stick around. So today, we're gonna install a Roadmaster Sway Bar. And uh, something we've been looking forward to putting on for quite a while. And uh, the reason is because when we put our truck camper in the back of the truck, there's a lot of sway. Uh, as you know, for the people that do have a truck camper, they weigh a lot and it uh, creates, you know, some sway in the truck just because, you know, they're kind of top heavy. So, and in our truck, it has the, uh, the factory airbags and there, there is no factory uh, sway bar in it. So I don't know why Ram does it that way, but they don't put a factory sway bar on their one ton truck. So, so I'm gonna put one on. Well, we, I looked at the Hellwig sway bar and I looked at the Roadmaster and they both make great products from what I understand. I've never used either one of them, but uh, we ordered the Roadmaster. And the reason I went with the Roadmaster is because it is slightly larger than the Hellwig model. And I figure, well, the more steel, uh, the bigger it is, the, the less it's gonna sway. So, um, you know, it's just stronger it's gonna be. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put that on. And uh, hopefully towards the end of the video, we can show you, or at least talk about uh, whether or not it, it helped. Cause I really don't know. I'm quite certain that it is gonna help. It's just a matter of how much is it gonna help. So I don't know, Ho hopefully it helps a lot because it was with tax and everything, it was like $800. So I'm expecting it to help quite a bit, but we'll see. So I'll show you the, the bar here in just a moment. Okay, so let me show you the sway bar that we got. It's down here. As you can see, it's kind of funny shape. So they all depend on, you know, the vehicle, the different shapes and that sort of thing. But this is the Roadmaster. Looks like a curl bar. Yeah, it's kind of like a curl bar. Let's put some weights on it. <laughs> but uh, the thing is heavy though. I don't know what it weighs, but it feels about the about the weight of a uh, bench press bar. But uh, that's the bar, and then it comes with a box of hardware, and then it comes with their end links or whatever you call these things, and, and the the bushings that go around the the sway bar, and some brackets that mount to the frame, and then where where these go into there, and then and then the, the bar connects to the sway bar. So. Uh, just a little bit of hardware. Shouldn't be too difficult, hopefully. Fingers crossed, so we'll see. And uh, gonna, I'm not going to show you necessarily step by step uh, how to do it, um, you know, because I've never done it before. So uh, it's just going to be more of a how I do it kind of thing here. But uh, so I may show you a little bit. But uh, so we're just going to dive into it and uh, see how it goes. Let's do it. Carla's got the instructions, so she's gonna tell me what to do. I'm just gonna to listen to her, she's the boss. Looks like we need general hand tools and a torque wrench, whatever got that means. <laughs> <laughs> I got one of those. I'm still working on the sway bar install. I ran out of time last night, so I'm back at it today. Hopefully I can get it finished up here in just a little bit. So I just thought I would climb underneath the truck and show you what I've done so far. Let's go. The sway bar is proven to be a real pain in the ass to put on. First of all, the hardware did not come with everything I needed. It's missing about uh, at least eight washers. So I had to dig through my stash of washers that I keep and uh, nuts and washers and bolts and stuff. Found some, they're gonna work, so I'll get the job done, but uh, it's a little bit tricky uh, just doing it by myself. It would be good if Carla was here to help me out, but uh, she's not here at the moment. As I climb under here, you can see the sway bar hanging there. Basically, I got the, the two lower mounts on each side uh, mounted up and got all the grease in there. And uh, that seems to be going pretty well. By the way, I just have that bar hanging there. That's not how it goes. It, it goes up like that and connects to those end links over there. So I just got it hanging there at the moment while I work on getting all the brackets tightened up. And then I got the, the upper mounts that go up on the frames. And then I just got this hanging down at the moment. All that's still loose. I got to tighten all that up. 
and I got the same thing on that side. And I'm um, gonna crawl up here and see if I can get a better shot. So that's, that's all, that bracket's up there. I still gotta tighten that up as well. Uh, tighten it all up and then torque it down with to the torque specs that come on the instructions. So basically it's all there. I just gotta get it all finished up and tightened up and then uh, should be good to go. But if I got any more complications, I'll let you know. But uh, that's it for now, I'm gonna get back to it. having a hard time holding the nut on top and doing the torque wrench all at the same time. Torque wrench is kind of a two, two hand job by itself. Well, I finally got this anti-sway bar on, I should say that because I keep seeing it saying sway bar and it's actually an anti-sway bar, but I got it on, it's all intact, uh, it's all tightened up and I'm gonna get ready to go for a test drive. But before I do that, let's climb them underneath and take a look. All right, there it is. It's in place. So it is definitely a beefy anti-sway bar there and uh, got everything greased up. As you can see, some of the grease sticking out there. And, uh, but looking forward to using it, trying it out. As you can see, the anti-sway bar does fit with the factory airbags. So it just bolts right up and uh, it works out well. It's not too difficult to put on. It would have been a whole lot easier with two people, but uh, it's doable. Oh, with you know by yourself one person but uh, looks good looking forward to trying it out yeah find out how it rides with the new sway bar and the camper on We've got the camper on the back pulling out of the garage we're gonna go for a spin see how it does see if we get our eight hundred dollars worth Go. Here we go. This goes better already. We haven't even got out of the neighborhood. Well, let's see how these turns go here. See how floaty it feels. It's definitely made a difference for sure. Because it's normally like. It's, it's slow and. Uh, it's. Yeah. The, the sway. I mean, you're gonna have some sway, but it's slow and the, like the the rebound on the sway, keeping it from going back and forth. It kind of you feel it, and then it kind of comes back. So it's definitely kind of. Uh, I mean, it's a heavy camper, and uh, so you know it's on the truck, and you know so it's top heavy. You're gonna get some sway, but it's definitely keeping it under control much better than than it was for for sure. Right. It's like not as I can't I don't know how to explain it but like it doesn't feel like you're on a boat you, floating right, in the water yeah <laughs> that's kind of what I mean yeah we got some dude on the bicycles it's like yeah yeah I mean we've only been a mile and can already tell a difference for sure well this road you could really tell a lot on yeah it's, it's pretty swervy and it's got some dips and that sort of thing like right here. Like right here, it'd be rocking. Yeah, it would back be and rocking forth. back and forth, and it's like a yeah. it's slow on. Like before, it was like slow. It would be like ooh. It was like you're on a roller coaster. How was so. it? Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> got kind of floating back and forth, but uh, yeah. yeah, it's it's definitely working. We're gonna keep driving, get a better feel for it. Yeah, it really does. It kind of makes it feel more back to 
like I'm driving a stock truck. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely liking this sway bar. I mean, it is expensive, but you know, so is the camper. So yeah. you're, you're gonna be willing to pay a bunch of money for a camper, you might as well, you know, outfit the truck the best you can to haul it around. My final thoughts on this Roadmaster anti-sway bar is, we noticed an immediate difference. As soon as we pulled out of the neighborhood, we could tell that the truck definitely started to slow down on the sway, because it is top heavy. So um, we're really looking forward to using it. We went on a pretty good little trip, just driving around just to get a good feel for it. And it's most definitely helping. So we're really looking forward to going on a longer trip and uh, you know just using it in the future. Um, we did actually pay a full price for this from e-trailer, but if you are interested in uh, checking this anti-sway bar out, we'll put a link below and uh, keep in mind that uh, this is, for at least for ours, it's a 4th gen Ram 3500, it's a 2018 model, so keep that in mind if you're looking for an anti-sway bar for your truck. But, uh, and we are an e-trailer affiliate, so we may get a few pennies off of it, but that's at no additional expense to you so you know that'd be great if you do but you know the most important thing is find the right anti-sway bar that's going to work for you for your application so we appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time on runaway roses bye bye